Hey everyone, Jen from Creative Recruiters here. Today I wanted to share some insights on how to enhance your portfolio and career trajectory as a recent graduate. So let's dive into some practical advice for showcasing your work and gaining real experience in the industry. Here are some of my top tips in no specific order. Tip number one, showcase real client work where possible. Employers want to see your ability to handle actual projects with real clients. This showcases that you can design in a practical real world context. Further to that, annotations are incredibly important. Make sure to explain what distinguishes a passion project from a university project or a client project. Clients and recruiters will pay attention to this as it plays a significant part in your chances of being shortlisted for a role. This clarity helps whoever's looking at your CV and folio to understand your journey and skills better. Tip number two, volunteer, intern and freelance whenever you can. These experiences can provide valuable insights and skills that will help you stand out, especially when you're first entering the industry. The honest truth is that employers and recruiters often prioritise juniors with real client experience when possible. However, not all hope is lost. <laughs> Some clients actively seek to hire recent graduates or as interns or for full-time positions. Typically though, recruiters are not frequently asked to fill these roles. I totally understand this can be a frustrating catch-22. Uh, I've been there myself as I was a graphic design student myself many moons ago. Uh, I was fortunate enough to land my first job after completing a work placement, but you know, even after that, the struggle is definitely real. Nonetheless, it's worth it if you're truly passionate about the industry. So on that note, my third and final point is the first few years can be the hardest, but you just need to rely on networking and connecting with people within the industry. Reach out wherever you can and don't be shy about attending industry events as it's a great place to network. Also keep an eye on trends and understand how the market is evolving, what kind of roles are needed, how can you set yourself apart from others and are there any sort of niches you can specialise in. Now, I know this might feel a bit overwhelming after just recently graduating, but building connections and understanding the landscape is essential for your continued growth. So for more advice, stay tuned as I'll be sharing a detailed article with additional tips next week. Thank you as always for listening. Bye.